So the first question, I want to ask interesting questions that analysts have not uh, asked you before. Uh, so we in the Rocket Lab community obviously want to see your company scale a lot. And I see a lot of questions about, uh, let's say, worries about the scalability of the launches and the launch whack-a-mole, as you, as you uh, call launch it. Launch manifest, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think that there's a way in the future that you can make uh, launches more secure? And for example, if the solution would be that Rocket Lab does all the manufacturing of all the payloads, uh, would that be something that would secure the uncertainty? Peter, you're there, yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm back, yep. I'm okay. Back. All right. It's just me and you. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have to wait for him to... There he is. There he is. Where, where did you lose me? This is so typical. <laughs> no, I, I, I got you. I got your question. No, no problems, Vince. So um, I, I think the first thing to, to say is don't worry about it. Um, look, uh, the reality of, and this is something probably we, we need to, to message better. The reality of a launch business is that launches move around. Um, people buy an Electron ride because they, they get to choose when they launch and where they go. So if the spacecraft goes into TVAC and there's an issue, they need the flexibility to move it. That, that's the value of the service. And it's not just unique to us. All, all launch vehicles and, and all launch companies, you know, kind of, kind of struggle with this. Um, it's just, I guess, it's a little bit more obvious for us because we, we, launch, we launch, you know, really frequently. But um, if, you, if you, you go back through the origins of time, you know, all launch companies are at the mercy of when the spacecraft turns up. So... You know, it, it, don't worry. My, my my real real kind of point here is is, is don't worry about it. Um, it. You know, when we're when we're just a launch company, a launch moving out of a quarter was a big deal. Like it doesn't matter these days. We don't we don't really you know see any any major or if any financial kind of impact if a launch moves out of a quarter. And the reality is this is this is just the business. So um, there's nothing we, really we can do to make sure a satellite you know, doesn't fail in a TVAC chamber from our customer or something like that. So, you know, they turn up when and ultimately they turn up. Um, we collect 90% um, of the contract's value from a cash perspective uh, until until launch. So generally on launch, we two things happen. We collect the last 10% of the contract on intentional ignition and we get to recognise the revenue. But, you know, as, as the, you know, all the way the launch contracts are structured, right throughout that process, we're collecting cash against those milestones anyway. So, um, look, we, launch cadence is something that's a metric that's very easy to track. Um, and, and, of course, we all, we all like to know how many launches we're going to do in a year. But, um, but a kind of, a kind of, it's kind of a, a irrelevant. Well, I mean, it's, it's relevant if they all move out and there's nothing. But, you know, I, don't, I can't remember, you know, Manifest Review Board where there hasn't, the, you know, the table hasn't been upended and we're picking all the cards back off the floor to figure out where all the launches, you know, Manifest gets placed back together. So it's just it's just part of the business, um, and you know now we have a, a, a big enough and a diversified enough um, you know company that uh, if a launch moves out of a quarter around, it it just it, it doesn't really affect the business. Um, so I don't know how we how we kind of message that better, but trying to communicate to everybody that this is this is just the business we're in. I think the the thing that I'm observing, uh, just to iterate on that, and I'll give it back to Vince to ask his second question is. The way I interpret it is, is it's a growing space. You guys have excess capacity to meet that demand. And with that, as the demand grows, you'll be able to, to make sure that you have 22 slots filled, right? Had, had you had additional people that were able to, say, launch this year and, and say, say, okay, we need something in May, you guys would have had the capability to do that. It's just that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and look, the, the, the challenge is that, um, you know, it's tempting to kind of double book spaces, but um, then, then, like, I never want to have to call up a customer and say, hey, hey sorry, um, we're the reason you're late. Um, because you got to remember that, that that's the service they're buying. So we have to walk this fine line between, you know, squinting just to, to see, yep, we think this is going to be on time. It's not going to be on time. Um, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll double book because we know that, uh, you know, some customers, especially governments, generally never make it on time. So we, we sort of we sort of hedge our bets there, but we don't want to be in the situation where we have to call up a customer and say, sorry, um, you know, I know you were supposed to launch today, but you're not. So um, so, so it's, it's just kind of, you know, finally, finally balancing, you know, all, all of those objectives. 